New England Super Volcano. Is a new super volcano brewing under these New England states? While scientists have detected unexpected and potentially deadly volcanic activity between the ground in New England and USA, yes, the eastern coast has a super volcano and it's usually a dormant area. Georgina Laud of Express UK reports on this. Molten rock has been detected rising towards the surface in New England in a new study. Surprising, su surprising the scientists who previously thought the area was dormant and quiet. The slow rising magma beneath Vermont, Massachusetts and New Hampshire could cause devastation if it reached the surface. The study found the magma to be centered underneath Vermont, also encompassing parts of western New Hampshire and western Massachusetts. Part of the new large-scale seismic study, the activity su suggests that there may in fact be a supervolcano simmering beneath the ground of these states. The discovery challenges what is currently known about the area, which is considered as geologically stable with no active volcanoes. There's been one previous study detecting heat below the surface with an anomaly registered at hundreds of degrees Celsius hotter than its surroundings. But it was only when the recent seismic study was undertaken that the cause of that heat became apparent. Rutgers University geophysicist Professor Vadim Levin said, the upwelling we detected is like hot air balloon and we infer that something is rising up through the deeper part of our planet under New England. Our study, he says, challenges the established notion of how the continents on which we live behave. It challenges a textbook conception, the concepts taught in introductory geology classes. The study also links the rising magma to the U.S.'s most feared supervolcano, Yellowstone, suggesting an eruption could have similar effects. Supervolcanoes are defined by the USGS as having, quote, had an eruption of magnitude 8 on the volcanic explosivity index, VEI, meaning that at one point in time, it, it erupted more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, that's 240 cubic miles, of material, end quote. Yellowstone has seen three such eruptions, which fit the USGS description. One was 2.1 million years ago, the one after that was 1.2 million years ago, and the latest one was 640,000 years ago. And from what they say, overdue, Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption. Professor Levin said, quote, it will likely take millions of years for the upwelling to get where it's going. The next step is to try to understand how exactly it's happening. It is not Yellowstone-like, but it's a distant relative, end quote. Yellowstone is located in the states of Montana and Wyoming and is one of the largest volcanic areas in the world. Now, if Yellowstone erupts, an estimated 87,000 people would be killed immediately and around two-thirds of the United States would become uninhabitable under the ash cloud. It would have a, we would have a volcanic winter not only in the United States but throughout the Northern Hemisphere. Supervolcanoes not only devastate the landscape but can trigger shifts in the climate and the ecosystem. However, it will take millions of years for the molten lava to reach the surface, according to Professor Levin. Quote, maybe it didn't have time yet, or maybe it is too small and will never make it. Come back in 50 million years and we'll see what happens then.